Good morning, fam. It is 5.45 a.m. and today is finally surgery day. I'm on my way to the hospital right now to get the knee surgery for my knee that I blew out exactly seven months ago. So this surgery is definitely long overdue and it's going to be really good to get it because I've been having a hard time walking in the last couple weeks. Like my knee has gotten really bad. But I'm still super anxious about it. I really don't know why I'm so nervous because last time I got knee surgery, I don't remember feeling like this. But this time I feel just really anxious about going in and having to go through all of the not being able to walk and recovery and the physical therapy and all that. And uh, But I don't really have a choice. I need to get this knee fixed. So yeah, pulling up to the hospital right now with my mom driving. She's going to be with me here through it. And yeah, I guess we're parking to go in now. So I'll see you guys inside. <clears throat> All right, I am in my pre-op room. I have to put the little gown and everything on and kind of freaked out at check-in because the lady asked me if I had a living will and choice of religion, like they'd have to do like last rites and like I might die. And I'm pretty sure you're not supposed to die during knee surgery. So <laughs> I think it was an unnecessary question that just freaked me out. And um, yeah, it's getting real. There's one last thing that I think I need to do before I get knee surgery because I've realized that I'm not gonna be able to do this for a long time. Okay, and also I'm trying to look if there's anything uh, I think moderately high, but I don't see anything. So I'm just gonna, gonna prop this right here. Okay, got that out of my system. Not really, I wanna do like 100 more cartwheels, but I'm gonna have to get ready for surgery. <laughs> the most non-form fitting socks. <laughs> Ready to go. Bye bye, sweetie. I'll see you when you're done. Hi, Kathy. Nice How to are meet you, you too. <laughs> so she was an okay, take picture okay of patient. Of well, she oh, wants to do her vlog stuff, so, you know. <laughs> I'm just the mom. <laughs> oh, I'm not gonna drive my a My face is so okay. itchy I'll right now. Just, just don't. I'm at the Birch Firm. Oh, the Birch is nice to park there because yes, yeah, yeah, just, just, just go wait until she's oh, ready my to go. Hurts. Because I'm still giving her pain medication. Okay. All right, guys. <sighs> just got out of surgery. Um, my head is all. Fog. I don't feel like I'm like loopy, messed up, but I'm kind of like. Low. Uh, uh, uh. Put my glasses on, but I don't feel like I'm seeing any better than I was with my glasses off. The last thing I remember, I don't really remember them pushing me into the surgery room. There was like music playing and like everyone was talking. It was like that was like the most fun room I've been in in a hospital. They like, like That's good. they were like ready for a party <laughs> in there. And then you went, you went, you fell asleep. I'm trying to remember what happened. I was there. Mm -hmm. Gave me some anesthesia. I think I was like asking some questions, and then I tried to stay conscious as long as I could because I wanted to remember what was going on. And what's his name? Uh, Connor. Cameron. Cameron. He's pretty cute. <laughs> Married with kid. Oh, is he? Mm -hmm. Well, I think the last time I got knee surgery, my anesthesiologist was pretty cute too. That's a prerequisite. <laughs> <laughs> kind of like firemen. Me too. Mm. 
my knee is still hurting pretty bad. Like I can't feel most of my leg, but I feel the pain in the side of my knee. I feel my knee looks like her mom. What's going on? Ooh. Yeah, actually I can't feel any of this. Oh. I was thinking about something a couple minutes ago, but I can't remember what I was thinking about. How did my makeup look? Did my makeup stay on good? Looks I'm, good. I'm trying to make a normal face, but I don't looks know how good. to relax my face. Mm-hmm. Wonderful. Your hair still has all its colors. Oh, they didn't dye my hair while Didn't dye your hair while you're out, no? No. <laughs> She's an Olympian. Almost. That's amazing. Because I, I blew my knee out in August. Yeah. But I didn't want to give up on the Olympics. Cause, so I snowboarded with my knee blown out all season. And I finished 25th in the world, and only 24 people get to go to the Olympics. That is amazing. That's what an amazing accomplishment. Well, hopefully Dr. Bradley did, you know, fixed all of what needed to be fixed. I hope so too. China yeah. in four years. Yeah. Yeah, the next one six now well, in China. We are going to be rooting for you then. My face is so itchy. 200 million in the Philippines. So imagine how uh -huh. much teasing I got growing up. Yeah. But I told her if my daughter saw her hair, she would love her because um, <laughs> we're in that phase yeah, where yeah. I kind know. of colorful. Unicorns. When did Unicorn. you tell me that? Er, a, a little earlier, I, I believe you were just starting to wake up and you were also <laughs> complaining of pain already. Yeah, it still hurts. Okay, let me just um, do, do you need some more drugs? Do you need some more? Yes. Yeah, it like hurts in the side. I have to say, I'm a little disappointed with my anesthesia. I think they should have cranked it up a little bit. Because I thought, like, I was going to talk about dinosaurs and, like, 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 fair, like, do you think fairies and dinosaurs existed at the same time? That would be pretty cool. I'd probably draw a picture of that. Like a fairy riding on a dinosaur. I guess they wouldn't have to ride because they can fly. Oh. I feel so nauseous. I want to throw up. Mom, come in the shot with me. No, come in. Okay. <laughs> um, how long was I out for? Uh, I don't know. I don't think you started right at 8.30. And I went to the gym and I worked out from, oh, I guess just about a half an hour or so. So I left the gym a little after 10. You only worked out for half an hour? Yeah, because then I went to Hillsdale and I went to Sephora and got the unicorn products I wanted. And I went to get gas in the car. Man, I called I'm, the hospital and they said you were in recovery, so I came. I'm knocked out, and you went to the gym. <laughs> you went to the mall. I yeah. could get a lot done while you're being, uh, you know, cut open and put back together again. Oh, I couldn't man. be there. I wish I could see my knee, but I, can't. I don't think you want to see it now. It's probably not looking so good. I feel so nauseous. They gave me this jello. That was pretty gross, so I spit it back into the cup. That's gross. And I thought the, sal the saltines would. Or they're not saltines. They're crackers. I thought these would make me feel better, but they just made me feel sick. You want to try the ones I have? I thought I had At least I have this. Should I go to Log the life. And get this stuff right Can't stop, won't stop. <laughs>
But I think it's really funny. I'm still getting comments saying what happened. Like, for the last seven months, I've been posting photos and videos talking about my knee being blown out, and people are still like, what happened? Like, I, yeah. Here was my knee before I went in. <laughs> I want to get my last image of my knee before mm -hmm. it's all oh. new scarred. So, can I see your picture in New Zealand? Uh, your YouTube? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, so, I, it was like a 10-foot jump, and I went, I went like 40 feet on it. I just went way too fast. So, I basically dropped probably like 25 feet out of the sky just oh. onto flat ground oh my goodness. and oh. I felt my knee pop and Imagine. snap and brush her then you know it's I was so I was skateboarding you know uh, like mm -hmm. three weeks after I started snowboarding two weeks after I blew it out mm -hmm. this was also after I blew my knee out so I've been doing a lot of stuff with it torn so is your boyfriend also um, in sports? No, I don't have a boyfriend. Wouldn't you have a boyfriend? Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> yeah, it's so impossible without so a boyfriend. Crazy. Yeah, I'm too busy. I don't have mm. time for that. Let's, let's take a selfie first with my, my patient. Oh, look at her. <laughs> I'm trying to get it. Oh my god, there's going to be a lot of jobs. Always ready to selfie, oh, even you. when you I've so got anesthesia <laughs> and whatever else I'm on. It's always, always a good time for selfie. <laughs> so, friend, I'll give you another one. Okay. My face is so itchy. I've talked to the surgeon twice now, but I keep forgetting what he said to me. <laughs> uh, I think because you're they're giving you some anesthetic agent, like, you know, fentanyl, and you start to yeah. feel groggy and you forget everything. Yeah. <laughs> I want to do surgery. Alright, there was nothing more attached to me, inside me now. I'm all good too. Head out yes. and head home now. You are, I like your multi tasking <laughs> kind of attitude. <laughs> right there, Zolga. She's standing right there. She's gonna take you down to your mom. Alright. Alright, I'm on my way out of the hospital. <laughs> Time to go home and sleep on the couch for the rest of the day. Right. Take care, okay? Thanks. All right, I'll watch you in four years. Okay. Thanks. All right. Bye-bye. Oh. Feeling pretty nauseous and my head hurts pretty bad, so I really just want to get home now so I can sleep and hopefully feel better when I wake up. <sighs> All right, I am back at home now laid up on what's going to be my bed for the next week or two because I can't get upstairs to my actual bedroom. Mm -hmm. oh, my head hurts and my knee hurts and my stomach hurts so I'm just going to try to nap it off and hopefully I feel better when I wake up. Uh, so yeah that's I think that's going to be it for today just sleeping through the rest of the day. So I'm going to end this here. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for the rest of my recovery journey. I'm going to get back into it tomorrow and 
filmed the whole process of getting back on my feet and getting my knee moving and rehab and PT and all that good stuff. So I hope you guys stick around with me for the rest of this journey until I'm back on my board. Alright, see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Do what makes you happy. If other people think it's lame or they make fun of it, if it makes you happy, do it. Follow whatever it is that makes your heart race and lights a fire in your soul.